People don't tell you about moving to Canada. I feel so alone. And I, I feel like I live with someone I can't have a conversation with and I'm trying to cry and I even have to be silent about it. <laughs> you just lose out on so many things. Your life, you just leave it behind. Your friends and I'm so hurt and my heart hurts. <laughs> you have to work all the time. I have school. <laughs> Hello viewers, this is your boy Golden Boy and I'm glad whenever this video finds you, you are you are good and you're okay. So uh today's video I want to talk about this lady who recently moved to Canada and is really struggling to make friends. So uh the only thing that I have come to realize that it is literally difficult. It is literally part of the culture and uh, if you are an introvert and political person or uh, an immigrant then trying to make friends will be very 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 difficult i want to say that uh, canada overall are very very deeply private passive and aggressive political correct people despite coming across many being polite on on the surface then uh, starting a random uh, chat can be mild and tolerable for them if there is a reason for it then if you continue to talk and try to build intimacy they will get frightened and creeped out. So uh, this, 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 this is their current nature and I think even part of the Kenya uh, in this estate, they, they usually try to remain private. Private to mean that uh, they, don't, they don't like to, to, but to, cut, to interact with the neighborhood. So uh, if you continue to talk and try to be intimate, then uh, you'll be frightened and creeped out because uh, most of the clinics are uh, especially in larger cities because they already know then then same spend energy meaning uh, meeting new ones and uh, you always end up feeling like a third wheel if you try to budge in them so making friends with with canadians is somewhat difficult not only in canada but also in other countries which which are a bit developed because they tend to remain private. So uh, I've not heard of US, but I think also US is one of them. And uh, if you have accepted this, then you simply, you are a Canadian. And because these people, they are politically surface and nice to you, but they will never truly warm up to you, especially in big cities. So when you compare to Africa, then uh, this will go wrong. So this lady recently moved to to Canada, and he expected that he'll make friends with with many many people. Many did didn't know that it's, it's going to become a lonely. So I think this this is an issue that need to be addressed because there there are several reasons why people can make friendship. So if you don't make friendship, how will you open up with the troubles? How will you open your heart? To someone, how will you make friends with your neighbors? So, what if I die in a estate? So, there are some cases that you'll find that someone died in a house and uh, the neighbors never knew until they had that scent, bad scent from the dead body. So, there's, there are several effects of being alone in a house, being alone in a compound, and I, I encourage these my viewers that when you feel that you're being alone, at least you should try to make friends with many, many people. Gather your friends, gather many as much as possible. Because uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, I know there, there, there are several reasons that will make you to, to say that I want to stay alone. Because maybe your friends, uh, friends are very toxic. 
your relationship is very toxic with other people. Like, um, let me give you a story like of my grandmother who recently died, died in last year, last year December. So you find that uh, he has, he had, he had 20 great grandchildren and grandsons, granddaughters, yeah, when you had them grandchildren. But uh, do you know what made him, we, we didn't know what, what made her to die. Because for those old years, he has been living alone. He has been, he, people say that he was very toxic. He, he never wanted to, she never wanted to, to interact with, with the family members. So uh, one time he, he died in a compound and uh, even the neighbors didn't know how to help. So imagine, imagine dying in a compound and you don't have, you don't have someone to help you. So the the story we heard from her death is that uh, he was talked with a, a fish fish boy. Yes, that's the only thing that made made her die. So there are several reasons that she couldn't interact with me because of maybe us we were very very toxic. We were not helping her in any way, and he had opted to to two of his children who were helping her uh, in house chores and uh, and these children were coming only on December on long holidays so be, because of us we could not even afford to move to those rural areas we were not able to know wh where where what she she was doing so the only thing that I'm trying to say that uh, in when you come to Canada getting Canadians uh, to have a uh, open deep long lasting friendships then it seems that very rare and even rare in large cities so i've never seen it yes but uh, i've been i've been in africa for 23 years i've never moved out of kenya uh, i've only been moving city to town town to town town to rural yeah such thing but there's a time i moved to rural to town rural to town and it was an estate so you can imagine, here in Kenya, there, there are these people who are very filthy rich and they have dis decided to conf confine their compound, which, which means that they don't, they, they have living private, they have privacy in their compounds, in their properties. So these are the things that are currently happening. And uh, living in an estate, it is, it is very common. And uh, there's this thing that uh, when people live in, a, in an estate, you know, even going to a to a shop will require to have a car. So, what of these people who are now in, newly coming in? When going to a a, a shop, you love to walk. But do you know that you can be attacked by thieves? You can be shot because in those estates, the thieves don't snatch phones. They do also carry carry guns. Yeah. So th these are the things that usually happen in this estate. But here in Canada, they are saying that it is very, their friendship is very, very okay compared to the U.S. and the African. And uh, I knew, so I've never knew of someone from a small as a childhood, because you find that these people, the 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 Canadians, the, I'm not talking about the immigrants. I'm talking about the Canadians, the Canadians people. You find that. They have, they have grown from, from their young age to their adulthood. They have been growing lonely. This, so this means that they are used to this culture. When, but we as Africans, we can't get used to such things. We can't get used. And, unless, unless, because uh, there's something called uh, introvert. Yeah. I've found more, many of my friends are, are currently being introvert. And introvert means that you, you are you are introduced to behaviors which which are not which are not friendly like uh, if you are an introvert then you, you you don't associate with your friends you don't exchange ideas with your friends and you have this thing called masturbation masturbation is something very very bad so i'm not saying that these people are are masturbators and uh, because being an introvert the, mo the moment you give yourself uh, you give yourself a small privacy. You'll be introduced to such things. Your mind will be dormant, and you will only be thinking about negative things. So these are the things that I'm trying to say. 
being a being a, a, a Canadian then Canadian town and uh, Toronto uh, still they were very warm and uh, Toronto people I guess uh, they're much warmer and his friendship was actually cool and is actually cool a bit of this so that is the thing I wanted to say about living in Canada there's something that you need to know that if you continue to talk and try to build entertainment with Canadians, then you'll get frightened and creeped out because most of these clinics, especially in larger cities, because they especially prefer to hang out around people, they already know than spending energy meeting new ones. So this is, this is something that has been happening in Canada for, for, for many, many, many years. Not, not only because they, they are trying to be private yeah you only associate with people you have known you have known since your childhood and when you try to spend energy to use i mean you spend less energy to small 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 people or then when you are meeting new friends so you spend little energy this means that you are not warm enough you are not warm enough new friendships so these are the things that are making canadians are making Canadian to be so a lonely, lonely place. Um, yeah, here in Africa you would not find such things. Yeah, I'm not because uh, in Africa we associate we interact. I don't know if it is because we are very poor. But what I know about uh, the moment you have money, you become lonely. You don't want to interact with people because you feel you are insecure. This is uh, this is the same thing that is happening to Canada because most of the Canadians are very. Very, very okay, they're lonely. So the, this means that even if you want to seek for an, uh, uh, help from from your circle of your friends, then it will be very, very difficult. But when you try, you try it in Africa, it is okay. You can call this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and they come, they gang up and come and help you. But uh, yes, I have this. My cousin, my cousin recently moved to US and he spent much of his money on stuffs, different stuff. You, you know that uh, in US, in East European countries, the standard of living is very high. So he went with 200,000 shillings. And uh, after a few days, he went to broke. So you can imagine, if you are broke, you can't, help, you can't seek help from, from your friends, from people, because you are lonely, you can't interact. Yes, because you can't interact, you, you'll be forced to call back home. But we are going to get that credit to go back home. Yes. So it was very, very, it was very, very tough for him. And I'm really, really sorry. When you're watching this video, my cousin, I'm really, really sorry what happened to you. So these are the things that I'm trying to say that when you, when you become rich, you become insecure. Yeah. Because you want to, you want, you want to treat your body. Yeah. You want your body. Something like that. So, uh, if you watched this video up to this point, then I'm really, really grateful that you are our fellow friend, and I'm very, very happy that you reached up to this point. And please subscribe. Whenever you go wrong, also you can also comment below and give me your reasons. We, we, we interact, yes. We all interact. Thank you.